Good morning and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Sugar with Sugar in the Attic Homestead. This morning I'm going to be making um, a crock pot dish because it's almost time for football. The big game is coming up. So I have the seasoning packet. It's barbacoa beef, gluten free and non-GMO. So I have quite a bit of beef. I would say it's about four pounds of beef. I'm going to put this in here. Just layer it in the crock pot. There are different cuts of beef, just whatever we had on hand. And on top of that, I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay, just a little bit of black pepper. I have some chopped up onions. I'm going to add about half a cup of chopped onions in there. Well, let's say a cup. A cup of chopped onions, and these are frozen, and a cup of sliced up green pepper. You put whatever you would like in your beef. This will be great for game day. I can shred it up. They can have sandwiches or they can just eat it on a tortilla. The next thing I'm going to add, of course, is uh, the barbacoa beef sauce. And this came in, a, it's a liquid. I thought it was going to be a powder, but this one is liquid. I've never tried this one before. I'm just going to pour this over here. Now we, I will have to add water to this. I'm trying to get all of this sauce out in the crock pot for this beef. I'll put the crock pot on low for about 10 hours. It's going to be a slow cook. It'll make all this beef extremely tender. So we're going to put that in there. Next, I'm going to put some water on top of that to make that sauce go in the crock pot all over that meat. Again, I'm going to put this on low for between 8 and 10 hours, probably about 10 hours. This is going to be for the big game tomorrow. And this is just one of the football dishes, the football food dishes that I'm making. I appreciate you stopping by my kitchen. Stop by anytime, especially if you're out and about on game day. We're going to have a lot of great food, and they're going to enjoy the game. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and in the comments below, let us all know, all the viewers and the community members, what are you making for football game food? Thank you again for stopping by my kitchen. Let's watch some football.